For the white folks who love to claim that all we have to do is follow the rules and work hard, I introduce to you the Atlantic Race Riot. When the Civil War ended, African Americans in Atlanta began entering the realm of politics, establishing businesses and gaining notoriety as a social class, causing ever-increasing tensions between black wage workers and white elites, or as I personally refer to them as, and so many others do, white supremacists. The tensions rose way higher after black people gained more civil rights, including the right to vote. Before going any further, let's hold a moment of silence for all the white folks that love hiding behind the racism and systemic oppression for black people ended after the Civil War theory. Okay, good enough. Fuck them. Next. So who was it that saw this peaceful and self-sustaining town of law-abiding and hard-working black people, one might ask? If you guessed white women lying about being assaulted by black men and the local news stations working together to create the justification of a three-day massacre, you're more than close. Over 10,000 white men and boys began gathering, beating, and stabbing black people. The total on how many were killed and forced out is still unknown. It was documented that these allegations were reported multiple times and largely false. This massacre was carried out by Democrats, their goal being to disenfranchise African American voters because they felt that each black vote could throw the election to the other candidate. Let us take another moment of silence for every white person that tries to act like this voter suppression shit that's going on right now is something new that they've never heard of. For all white folks that love melting at the truth of what really happened throughout history to our people, stick around. This is only part one. I'm covering every city. Oh, and please remember, argue with your ancestors, not with me.